What's up, Leo? How we doing? Not me constantly having shirts and shit. I just got this shirt. It says, uh, one of my followers gave this to me. Spread love, not hate. Um, anywho, this is your weekly reading. Um, if you're new here, my name's Tori. I do these weekly readings for every sign. Fire signs are normally Monday, but sometimes Tuesday, sometimes I'm a day late. But either way, you get your damn reading, okay? If you're new here and you're interested in anything about me, it's all linked in the description below. Um, and don't take these readings to heart. They're, they're general... Um, collective reading not not to be taken too seriously there you are all right let's see let's see what we got why why, why do i look like that why do i look like a potato right now all right what i say is it leo Sure. We'll go with that. Justice as the first card out. We dig. Okay. Four of Wands in reverse and then the Queen of Cups. And then the Three of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. How would I take that? Well, the Four of Wands is about some sort of conflict with another person or with others. Um, it's 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 either a card of like not celebrating our achievements or not achieving something that we set out to achieve. Um, I feel as though, especially with the with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, you're like waiting for either waiting for waiting for something waiting for some sort of resolve is what i keep getting leo waiting for things to work out in your favor like justice is all about justice but it's also about balance as well and so you're waiting for like the scales to tip back into your favor that's like how i'm feeling the Queen of Cups is a person. Could be you. Could be another person that you're dealing with. But this is just very nurturing energy. Very intuitive as well. Like the Queen of Cups. Um, the Queen of Cups is probably the most intuitive card. Which I didn't know, actually. Somebody told me that. And I was like, really? It's like waiting for, let's, let's just fucking pull more cards, shall we? Why do I look like this? Do I always look like that? Jeez. Okay. Not y'all. What the fuck? Waiting for the ascension? possibly like judgment is about ascending to a higher it's like graduation i gotta take this shirt off this is ridiculous it's fucking hot um you got the judgment at the bottom of the deck right and then the six of swords i'm getting this back and forth energy right like balance not balance <laughs> Um, this is, I feel like this for some reason is your emotion. Like, I feel like this is your possibly like spirituality, getting in touch with your spirituality. Like, I don't know if you're waiting for some sort of sign. Why do I want to say that? I don't know. But like, I feel like y'all have been through a lot because you have the nine of wands that comes out which is like bruised and battered, basically. This person has been through the fucking ringer and back um, and has lived to tell the tale about it. 
So I don't know if y'all are waiting for the situation to get better, right? You're waiting for, and you could literally be waiting for some sort of judgment to be made on somebody who like did some shit to you. Could be a male, could be a female, could be this person. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like this is you guys. Very much in touch with your emotions and your intuition, right? But um, there's still that need with the hangman here for you guys to surrender to something. Get a new perspective, but like mainly surrender. Surrender to the way that it has to be. And I feel like this Six of Swords in reverse is like indicative of I can't I can't push forward from this situation. Like it's a waiting game because it's like y'all aren't gonna get the justice and the and the ascension and the growth or whatever it is that you're seeking until the surrender happens and so maybe that's where the kind of push and pull comes from because maybe you guys are in the, this is deep but like maybe y'all are in this place right now where you're going back and forth knowing at the very least what you need to do but maybe possibly afraid afraid of because i saw the fool pop out at one point i don't remember when but like maybe y'all are afraid of wiping the slate clean of fully letting go of, of something or someone. God, I gotta get my eyebrows waxed. For, f for fuck's sake. The Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups in reverse. This is very confusing to me, I'm not gonna lie. Page of Wands. <sighs> if this has nothing... Okay. I don't know why I'm getting this vibe of like... There's something... Almost like there's something you're needing to kind of prove to yourself in order to take a next step so, for, into something. Like, I feel like... I feel like emotionally you guys have been through the fucking ringer in a situation. And the Six of Cups in reverse can indicate, like, living very much in the past. So maybe there are past traumas that come, come up. I don't know why I want to say that, but, like, maybe there's, like, triggers from your past that you're stuck in like if it's if it's a relationship it's like you can't move to the next level with somebody until you learn to face like whatever the traumas are surrender to them in some sort of way you know um it's not it's not necessarily like chaotic energy it's just very like resistant um like if if like if this was a specific like relationship reading it's like you can't move to the next level with somebody until you learn to face certain parts of yourself that you've been putting off facing maybe sir and it and it's deep it's like emotionally very deep queen of cups coming out is like deep it has to do with like your emotions your spirituality your intuition the things that your higher self basically it's almost the way that i would say it is like um you're needing to get in touch with that higher self and really kind of go into all of the things face the things that you don't want to face in order to kind of progress because i feel like it's just you're at this place of like waiting for things to change but the change has to come from within you is kind of like how i want to say it why i don't know sometimes i can read the cards like individually and then other times i just just talk out of my fucking ass <sighs> Thank you.
The Nine of Pentacles is about independence. Um, the way I would see it, though, is like independence from whatever these past situations are. Like, you know what I mean? Like break, almost like a breaking free of whatever the past situations are that kind of bogged you down. And it could literally be especially with these two cards here like it could literally be you're in conflict with people from your past family members childhood you know what i mean and you're needing to surrender to to those relationships whatever that means like surrendering doesn't always mean like surrendering on a spiritual level is like coming to terms with the fact that whatever it's going to be is what it's going to be it's not saying you fucking bend over and take it in the ass from a person a lot of times people hear surrender and they're like, what? what? It's very, can be a very scary word. But that's not what, th that's not what this is saying. The page of wands, for me, is about taking action on a situation. Toward the things that we're passionate about. Things that we love, like doing, taking, taking action on, on with our passion projects you know what i mean so again like a scenario that i would give is like you're kind of needing like it's almost saying like you can't stand on your own two feet um until you kind of not even face surrender to the fact that let's say my parent did this to me growing up you know like my father wasn't there to protect me from my alcoholic mother, uh, stepmother. And you know what? That's made me really angry. And I've hold on to, held on to all of that anger. This is a true story. Like, I've held on to all of that anger for so long against him. You know, like, but it was only until I learned to surrender to that anger and let it go and just realize, you know what? That's the past. I'm an adult now. I can take care of myself. I can stand on my own two feet. Once I realized that, then I was able to heal my relationship with my father. Then I was able to, like, you know what I mean? This is deep. This is very deep. Whenever the Queen of Cups comes out, it's deep. It's not just, hey, you want to start a business? Like, no, it's fucking deep. It's on an esoteric level of deep. That's how I would read that. And it's like, again, there's like blockages that are keeping you from doing, like being free. The page of wands for me is like free, free to do whatever the fuck he or she wants to do. Like spread your wings again, like start the business, right? Do the, get involved in the passion project, whatever it is, do the work. But it's like the block, there's emotional blocks is what I would say. And I feel like maybe you're start like maybe Leo like you're starting to face them. And maybe that's why this card is coming out cuz like facing those things really fucking sucks and hurts. But the good thing about this card, this card sucks. Like genuinely this card being this person in this card sucks. But it's a beautiful card in the sense that it's resilient. That person that's gone through all that shit, that's been beaten and bruised and battered, they've come out the other side of it. They didn't give up. I don't know who the fuck this is for. Tower in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, right? Um, what I say, emotional blockages, and the Star card, healing, right? There's a lot of like, it's like deep healing, hope. Um, let 
recognition even sometimes but it's really like um when i see the star card automatically i see healing i think of healing and it's funny because the star card like comes right after this tower moment because it's like the cleaning up the tower is like the shake up the thing that really fucks you up and makes you question life the tower moment can be a moment in your life that like drops you to your fucking knees you know you find out your husband's cheating on you in reverse it's kind of inner like the way that i read it is like inner turmoil that inner shit so i feel like especially op above this card on the outside you may seem like the person that has it all fucking together that can stand on their own two feet but inside it's like there's something there's something that there's an, and and again knight of cups in reverse is I mean this could also be like moody and um jealous energy but I'm taking it as just like an emotional block maybe the emotional block is that person whoever's being moody jealous whatever but overall I would take it as just some sort of emotional blockage preventing you from either like there's something you want to do you really want to fucking do whether it's like the, with the page of wands i could even see like you're it's like something about your sexuality right you want to spread your wings you want to like go explore um and have fun and you know live your life in that way there's a block there there are things you need to heal from it's my favorite card see there it is that is after that's like cleaning up the wreckage again I, this is getting redundant <laughs> i'm done i'm gonna pull oracle cards for y'all leo what do you need to release right i think it's whatever fucking inner emotions you're having and again prosperity lies ahead so like yeah i feel like y'all can see like y'all are on the precipice y'all can see what you want where you're headed there's just like some sort of inner work that needs to be done i don't know bring love into the situation i don't know it's time to release negativity that's twice releasing has happened you need to there's something that needs to be again released like i said surrendered to i don't know take it as it resonates that's what i got for y'all that's pretty fucking deep um y'all let me know let me know if that resonates at all i'll catch you in the next video i love you guys peace out